Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly love reading. So this is usually on a Wednesday but I had midwife appointments yesterday and um, there was too much going on for me to be able to record. So sorry for the delay but we are going to find out what we need to hear about love, romance, relationships um, and just you know if a message resonates let me know. So we're going to start with the Romance Angels and I felt really drawn to the Lightseers deck as well. So let's see what comes through. We will also get a message from your counterpart using my Blunt Truth deck. So let's see, what do we need to hear? Before when I was um, getting ready to do this reading, I kept hearing someone is inspired by you. So I think there's something you've done recently which has been some kind of show of strength. Maybe you have changed a pattern um, of behaviour and yes, yeah, someone's feeling really like inspired by this kind of change that they've seen within you. So we have the honeymoon. So whether you are entering a new relationship or whether you're already in a connection, this honeymoon card is confirming that there's going to be a time of real bliss, real harmony. Um, you may be traveling with this person. There could be some kind of long distance situation here and you're going to be spending time together physically. But the honeymoon card is such a nice card to receive because it really just confirms that everything's going to feel like that holiday. It's going to feel like that honeymoon period. Um, um, and you know even in a current relationship you can always get back to that honeymoon phase you know I don't believe that it's just a phase at the start of a relationship um you know I think with a bit of effort and you know with both of you trying with each other then you can you can be in that state of mind so we also have the engagement card on the bottom of the deck so it's as if maybe you're waiting for some kind of commitment. Maybe you're waiting for the next step to be taken. Perhaps you are going to be going on a holiday with this person and that will be when you take that next step. So let's get one more and then we'll get stuck straight in with the tarot. Trust. Have faith that everything is working out just as it is meant to. Um, I do believe that you are entering a union. You know, just then the wedding cards want you to fly out as well. So this is asking you to trust the journey that you are on, to trust that things are going to become very blissful, very harmonious, very fun, um, you know, in a short space of time. But with that trust card, you do have to have faith. Um, you know, you, you've got to believe that everything is on the right, path you've got to believe that everything is working out so let's see what's happened here recently what's the current situation eight of cups interesting so someone here may have walked away you most likely it's the divine feminine here because this eight of cups i'm really picking up on a very feminine energy um and this is that strength that you know inspiration that i was getting earlier something you've walked away from or something you have changed something you're doing differently that is inspiring your counterpart here the state of cups i don't know what it is that you have walked away from but this is like releasing the past and walking towards this new sunrise leaving behind whatever wasn't bringing you fulfillment whatever was in this cup here you weren't enjoying drinking from it anymore you weren't enjoying um this situation or whatever it is and yeah you know you've chose to leave it behind and move towards this sunrise where you feel there's going to be a new beginning and it's only by leaving this behind that you can possibly move forwards towards this so you knew that you had an important decision to make and you've made that choice and I do feel this was a tough choice to make this was you know you changing uh, you, your whole pattern of behavior or leaving something behind which you once felt very attached very connected to so um you know, that's why this person feels inspired by your decision because you've shown strength, you've shown courage and they really admire that. This is not being unnoticed. And Queen of Wands, very soon you are going to feel inspired and connected again. Right now you may very well be going through like some kind of grieving process. The Eight of Cups is you know, it's a difficult card because it's it's when we know that we need to be searching for more. It's when we know that we need to find our fulfillment, find what it is that, you know, we really, really 
you know, our soul desires, basically. Um, but we have to leave some things behind in order to go on that journey. So you could be going through this, you know, these mixed emotions where one moment you feel great because you know that there's a new beginning literally that you can see but then another minute you might be feeling sad about what you've left behind and sad about the past and feeling nostalgic and that's completely fine ride the wave of emotions but very soon queen of wands you are going to feel hopeful again you're going to feel connected that fire in your life that passion that zest it's all returning and with this queen of wands you're going to be not only inspiring others including your counterpart you're also just going to be living your best life. It's like you're not even going to notice what other people are doing or how magnetized they are by you. You're just going to be too busy sharing your light, living your best life. The Queen of Wands, she's very independent and you can see how happy she is in this card. She's relit her fire and, you know, she's enjoying just watching it grow, watching it burn right there. Um, She's celebrating. So you could very well find that soon you will be celebrating celebrating something, some kind of personal achievement, some kind of magic in your life. This is not necessarily to do with love. I feel like this is about you being independent and, you know, living your best life. And then we'll see what's going to happen. But I know that this, this counterpart of yours is watching it every step of the way. Guys, King of Wands, the perfect counterpart for the Queen of Wands. And look how intensely he is like looking forward. He's watching here. You're too busy noticing the magic in your life. And then this person's like, I see you and I am going to make a move. I am going to pounce. You don't even realize that this person is watching you so closely. You don't even realize that they are about to make a move. Now, this person has also found their fire, has also found their passion, but this person feels fueled by it. They feel like now the two of you have both lit these fires in your individual lives. You're ready to connect, to, to, you know, I'm just getting alchemy to, to make something together. This is a process. This is, it's, it's chemistry. You know, it's chemistry between two people who are just meant to be together. Queen and King of Wands. You may both have fiery energy. You may both be like very independent. Maybe you're both working on your own businesses right now or kind of working on your own goals because I just really feel that all this wand energy, both of you feel inspired and connected. Um, now I'm being shown a date in the diary and I am being shown 2nd of June, which is, you know, tomorrow, that's Friday, but I'm just being shown a calendar and someone kind of flicking through and trying to find a date. So there's something coming up here, some kind of event, which I think the two of you are going to attend, you're going to meet at, but there is some kind of, yeah, date in the diary. I think that's what this reading is going to be called. It's the date of the diary. Something important. I just, I just keep seeing someone circling, circling a date on this calendar. Three of Swords. You don't even know what's about to happen because the Three of Swords has come out under the Eight of Cups, right? So the Three of Swords is just really confirming that your decision to walk away from whatever this past or situation was, is, um, it's been painful and, you know, you've endured a lot of difficult emotions, you know, it's, it's been a conflicting emotional time, basically, um, and it's just really confirming how cut up you, what you once were, or maybe you are right now, and I just, I just know that things are going to change in a very short space of time, keep an eye out, the month of June feels important, and there's going to be one specific date where I just feel something's going to happen. Two of Pentacles. You're going to be so busy. You're going to be so busy balancing these things that you've got going on, like juggling your priorities. You don't even notice this person is about to ask you to go away with them or ask you, um, you know, to 
I don't know, to meet up or whatever it is for that next step in a relationship. You don't even realise what move this person's about to make because you're too busy, like, juggling all these things. You're like, shit, I've got a business to grow or I've got a second job that I need to to work on or I've got to run a home. Or I've got to, like, find myself. I don't know, whatever it is that you, that you have going on, I just know that there's so much that you are busy. And then the King of Pentacles came out under the King of Wands. For some of you, there may very well be a decision coming up between two people. Um, for others, this is just confirming that someone who you feel very passionate and inspired about, they are now in a position where they feel stable and secure enough to actually offer some kind of loyalty and commitment. So yeah, some of you might have a choice to make. Others of you, this is the person who you already have in your mind, in your heart, who is, you know, reaching this place of stability. Now, um, we're going to start the extended with a message card, with a message, with a message from your counterpart. But I just want to let you guys know the Blunt Truth deck is back in stock in my Etsy store. Now it's had a little upgrade so you can see that it's no longer in this tuck box, it's in a rigid box. So it's much better and we have also changed the back on the cards. So originally, you know, this used to be the back of the cards and we have now changed it so that it looks like this. So yeah, a few little changes but we've improved everything about it um, but the price hasn't changed so if you've been waiting on the Blunt Truth deck then check out um, my Etsy store and you'll find it there but guys thank you for joining me today we are going to go straight to the extended now which will be on my Patreon site sacredspace.co.uk and we are going to start that extended with a message from your counterpart and then find out what move they're going to make can we get an idea of when this date is going to be um, and what's going to happen in the future? So thank you for joining me today. I'll see you over there for the rest of this reading um, and I will keep you updated on the progress of the little baby. Um, she is still very comfy inside my tummy, so we'll see. It's definitely going to be by the end of next week, so that's all we know at the moment. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and um, I'll see you on Sacred Space get in our way. I am going to face these barriers. I am going to overcome it all. Um, and, you know, they believe that the new beginning is close as well. Split the deck. I am on my way. So this person knows the new beginning is close because they already have made it. For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the evolved tier for full access to the sacred space site.